Hey what is going on guys, it's Tharsh here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with the final video in my season 13 Rebuilding Glory campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So if you guys do enjoy this video then please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So as I said, this is the final video in my season 13 campaign and it's been quite a journey if you guys have been following you know that you know it's been pretty hectic we pretty much had the entire server go up against us and our allies and it's just been non-stop fighting the entire season but it's been a lot of fun we've come through the season with well thanks in big part to uh, our allies obviously in the other factions like the Variags and Isengard and Mordor as well as our well as well as our sister fellowship I guess you would call it or our the fellowship that we came into the season with lion they did an amazing job as well and you know together we were able to come out on top in the end even though you know ring is a bit smaller we have about 60 people left i think uh let me see we have 66 people but of the 66 unfortunately if we yeah one two three four five six six people haven't logged in for seven days or more so we basically have 60 people and of those a couple have been logged in for the last three or four days though because the season has been rounding down i guess that could be it but still we're about half full but we're pretty strong pretty active anyway and we've made a you know put up a good fight we took up we pretty much fought the entire uh linden faction by ourselves so that was like what 100 people in linden against like the 50 of us or 40 of us that were fighting but you know we were able to hold them off pretty well but i'm rambling so let's just go have a look at the final map overview of the season then have a look at the season objectives and you know all of that stuff so if we look at the map and we zoom out this is basically the final map so um gondor obviously we've got four capitals as you can see we have our own capital of Asgiliath. We have Rohan's capital of Edoras. We have Isengard's capital of Orthanc, which we took from Rohan, I believe it was. We have Lothlorien's capital of Karis Galadon, and we have Mount Doom. Uh, I mean, not Mount Doom. <laughs> we have Dol Guldor, so we have the One Ring. So we do have four capitals plus the Ring, and a couple weapons. You know, people try to make a last push for Orthanc to try and reduce our rewards, but we were able to take care of that pretty easily. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the warpins and then we're gonna go and have a look at the actual territories for the other factions so we have a pin here by tor lao 2.9 million participants 865k deaths between aeon lion ring and mustang we have another pin over here 1.6 million participants uh 439,000 deaths aeon lion infair and ring uh, we have a small pin here in dunland and uh, 890k participants 258,000 deaths lion mustang and arda Another small pin between Lion and Mustang, 378,000 participants, 53,000 deaths. And another small pin between Lion and Mustang, again, 488,000 participants, 77,000 deaths. Are these all the pins on the side of the map? Oh no, there's this one big pin over here, 7.9 million participants, 2.6 million deaths in the Woodland Realm between Rogu, Dest from Isengard, Iron, SUSD from the Variags, lion gods mod unds and some unaffiliated players there as well now over here by gundabad we do have some pins this is between arda fist and dest so basically loth first gundabad and a bit of isengard 369,000 participants 132,000 deaths another pin between uh this time between arno and gundabad so emperor dark and fist 297,000 participants 87,000 deaths uh this bigger pin is 2 million participants and 493,000 deaths. This is between Arda and Emperor, Lothlorien and Arno. Obviously, Arno was trying to, you know, get a capital back. And so they were trying to go for Gundabad's capital there, you know, which is currently under Lothlorien uh, ownership. Over here in Ruda, there's also some pins between Mustang and Kill from Arno, Mustang and Emperor from Arno, and Mustang and Emperor. And the war pins were 486k participants, 94k deaths, 300k participants, and 55k deaths. And finally 225k participants and 61k deaths so those are all the pins done now let's go and have a look at the actual territory so first we're going to start off with our allies so mordor pretty much have all their lands that they want and their capital variks have their capital as well as their lands isengard have a bunch of lands that we gave them over here as well as a bunch of lands they took from erebor and they also have the uh, rune capital of kineland 
uh, Moro, is this Moro owned, I think? Yeah, this is also Moro owned East Byte, okay. Erebor, they've just got a few of their lands up here as well as their capital, so they did keep their capital. Um, Angmar have randomly Withered Heart as well as Etchen Moors and North Downs, but they do not have a cap. Lothlorien have the lands of Durin's Vale, uh, you know, above that to Troll Shores and Burnin Vale. Then on the other side of the mountains, they have the Upper Anduin Vale, Tor Anarath, and obviously Gundabad's capital. Uh, Gundabad themselves just have this one land of Faridwaith. Rohan are all the way here in the west, so they have uh, Rudor. They do have Dunlan, though we could probably take it from them in another day or so. And they do have Angmar's capital of Karn Doom. Arno, unfortunately, lost their capital. They only seem to have Cardolan. It looks like they only keep their own. While Linden actually have this keep here, Andras, which they took from Isengard, because Isengard owned that. And then they obviously have all their lands here in the far west, as well as two capitals. There's the Grey Haven and a Numenos, which they took off Arno. So that is the map situation. Let's go and have a look at Season. So if we have a look at Season, uh, we actually finally finished the one ring to rule them all, this season chapter. Any faction occupies five factual capitals in total, including Dolgaldor. So obviously Gondor, you know, we have four capitals plus Dolgaldor, so that's five. In terms of the target, so we, uh, can we check? No, how do we see this again? Well, in terms of the teamwork, actually, let me see, where am I? Finished at 54 there. Control, uh, yeah, we end up with Renowned Conqueror, so that's great. And can I actually see which title I got? Oh yeah, we got Renowned Conqueror and um, yeah, the rewards just depends on, uh, just depends on what we do. But yeah, so we have the Renowned Conqueror title. So that's great. It looks very pretty on my profile. Uh, if I click on profile, there we go. There we go. Another Renowned Conqueror uh, title. As you can see, I have been ring since my first season. Ring, ring, ring all 13 seasons that I've played. So that is pretty great. Let's have a final look at the ending leaderboards of the season. So if we look at Fellowship Production, at number one, we have Lion at 2.2 million power. Two, we have Aeon from Linden at 1.9 million power. Three, we have Emperor from Arnor at 1.1 million power. Four, we have Ardor from Lothorian at a million power. Five is Ring, my Fellowship from Gondor at 1 million power. Six is Dest from Isengard at a million power. Seven is Rogu from Erebor at 972k. 8 is SUSD from the Varys at 934k, 9 is Mord the Horde from Mordor at 810k, 10 is Mustang from Rohan at 785k, and I'm not going to go over the other factions. In terms of development level, we ended this off at Gondor with 142 levels of development, Linden with 79, Erobor with 46, Varys with 33, Lothlorien with 29, Mordor with 27, Isengard with 24, Rohan with 15, Arnor with 8, and Angmar, is that Angmar? Yeah, Angmar with eight and Gundabad with one. So yeah, that is the season overview pretty much. Um, in terms of next season, I will put a separate video out talking about that, especially in terms of recruitment. Though if you are seeing this video and you're interested in joining Ring, uh, let me know down below in the comment section or add me on Discord and you can join. Or if you want, you could just go over here and join my Ring group chat. Obviously, if you do want to join, this is the group chat code 124940. Only request to join this if you are going to be joining Ring, okay? If you are going to be joining Ring in the next season and you want to stay with us, then join the group chat. Otherwise, please don't join if you're just deciding or wanting to know more. Instead, just DM me or leave a comment on this video. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys. <laughs>